Hello students, in this lecture we are going to discuss about homoaromaticity. Homoaromaticity refers to special case of aromaticity in which a sp3 hybrid carbon is present in between the conjugation. As you can see the conditions for aromaticity are there must be 6 pi electrons, the ring should be planar and all the carbons are sp2 hybridized. In case of homoaromaticity, these conditions are not fulfilled. Neither the ring is planar, no all carbons are sp2 hybridized, and carbon must be sp3 hybridized for homoaromaticity. As you can see in the example that we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 carbon which are sp2 hybridized. The 8th carbon is sp3 hybridized, but still aromaticity is there. The conjugation is present, the aromaticity is there. How we can say aromaticity is there? Because through the practical data, through NMR data, IR data, we can detect that these that these compounds are aromatic in nature. The sp3 hybridized carbon lies above the plane of the ring. So the orbitals can come in conjugation with each other while the one sp3 hybridized orbital lies above the plane. All rest of the carbons are planar in nature. They are following all the conditions for aromaticity. In this case, we are discussing how we are forming this kind of homoaromatic compounds. We are taking propylene ion. With the propylene ion, we are, we are reacting methylene carbene with the propylene ion so that the methylene will give one extra carbon to propylene ion. The propylene ion do not want to give up its aromaticity. So, to retain its aromaticity, the methylene group will lie above the plane of propylene ion so that the aromaticity is still retained while we can say that this molecule will go planar in nature. So concluding this video, we can say that homoaromatic compounds are the compounds which contain at least one sp3 hybridized carbon while rest of the carbon lies in one plane and they show aromatic nature, the sp3 hybridized carbon will lie above or below the plane of aromatic compound. Thank you.